Hey guys, Young Britt and I'm Moment of USA here, and Britt is senior. Hey guys. So what we're gonna do today is test out my nine millimeter Walther PBQ with the Trigicon HD night sights. Some of you guys were asking if they hit point of aim with uh, the Trigicon HDs installed. So we're gonna test that. We've got some 124 grain free ammunitions loaded up right here in the factory Walther PBQ mag. And in the Canic TP9 mag, we have some 115 grain for your munitions. But yeah, so we're going to test out the different grains of ammo and make sure that the Trigicon HDs are working as they should. And just confirming that point of aim is point of impact with the pistol. I want to shoot the 124 grain first. Alright guys, we're going to test the uh, Walther PPQ with the new sights with 124 grain um, freedom munitions. And we're using the X-Steel Target A to C zone IP6 style target. So... We're gonna test that out too. Brought a couple rounds down a little bit lower, but it's a pretty nice little group. Oh, I keep on forgetting it's a lefty over here. Yeah, so uh, is it hitting where you were aiming? Yes. Yeah. So you were aiming below the logo of right. the X-Seal targets? Exactly. Right in the center, right below the logo is where I was aiming. You could tell I pulled a little bit too hard on the trigger on a couple, so um, which brought the round strike of the round down a little bit. But as far as the point of aim is point of impact, so 124 grain, no problem at all. So you have the Meprolite night sights on one of your PPQs. Do you think that these sights are superior? I think what helps me the most is my eyesight is getting worse as I'm getting older. And this front sight right here is worth 150 bucks right there. Because that front sight is very similar to the Sig Sauer Legion front sight, the X-ray sight yeah. by Sig Sauer. And I think that Sig Sauer took greatly from the Trigicon HD sites as far as implementing a similar site into the Legion series. Yeah, they may have, but boy, it just stands out. It really stands out when you're using the sites. And obviously we're daylight conditions right here. So I think it's where it gives you the most right here in the daylight. Once it goes nighttime, you know, it's just another night site kind of like the rest. But as far as daytime shooting, boy, that shirt has helped me a lot. All right, your turn. So again, this is free munitions, 115 grain, out of the Canic TP9 magazine. We're going for headshots on the X-Steel target. Yep, they definitely hit point of aim, you guys. You know, a couple of those rounds, I started to sail up into the upper left of the headshot. And, you know, I definitely knew I was doing that. And to be honest, you know, this side picture is so amazing that you just gently press that trigger to the rear and they're all inside of there. They were hitting exactly where I wanted them to go. Good shooting, young brother. All right, guys, so this is gonna be the ending for the Trigicon HD video. These are the night sights, how they look at night. And as you can see, there's the orange fluorescent paint around the tritium insert in the front. I'm gonna shine my thousand lumen through night TC12 on it. Will this make the fluorescent paint glow? Yeah, it will. So we're just gonna do that for about 15 seconds. Sorry if that hurts your guys' eyes. But there you go. Wow. And it glows like that for about 10 minutes. As you can see, the night sights, as far as the tritium inserts are in the rear. I'm gonna turn on my flashlight and fire a couple rounds off. Yep, 
This is awkward. Alright, so now you guys got that perspective. Let's finish this off. Surefire X300 Ultra, 600 lumens. Thanks for watching the video, you guys. As always, remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube for more guns and gear videos coming up in the future. And we'll catch you next time.